always seem to do my castings when it gets dark, and that's because I get home after work and try to use whatever daylight's left. By now, daylight's fading fast, so in just a handful of minutes it'll be dark, so people have commented that my videos look like it's taking forever to melt, and actually it doesn't. So what I've got here, I've got all my tools laid out, my ingot mold and my draw scraper, my foundry gloves and just a splatter shield, my pouring shank, propane torch for lighting the furnace, uh, the big propane tank to run the furnace, which I got from Foundry 101, uh, not too far from here in Seattle, and then I've got lots of scrap. That's all copper there, tubing and whatever, and pipe fittings and uh, old trinkets, and this is all kinds of old windings from transformers. And what happens is you've got insulation that has to burn off, and actually that's what's burning off right now. And then I've got a very large pile of scrap here. Some of these are deceivingly heavy, and others are just really, really thin and decorative, so we'll see how much dross we get. Someone's probably going to comment and tell me, that's an antique, that's worth a lot of money. Not anymore. The other thing I'm doing is I'm preheating, uh, you can see some of these have water in them from sitting out in the rain. You don't want water in there, so I sit them up here and let them preheat and boil off all that water. That way they're, uh, they're dry when they go in. Progressing nicely. So you can actually see the insulation burning off of the copper, and then you can see the copper starting to glow. There we go with the green flames. The copper oxide's burning off. But I'm no chemist, so that's just a guess. But if you ever wonder where your green fireworks come from, wow, that's intense. You know what they say, watch furnace doesn't melt. Now we've got the blue flame. That's pretty incredible. Getting close. Crazy, the specific heat of copper is so high that it's taken a while to melt. Every time I put another big piece of copper in there, it uh, cools down the melt. Not to mention I'm using propane, which is not the hottest fuel. Uh, maybe um, it's time to start building that oil-fired furnace. But that also answers the question for me. Is there any hope of doing steel in this furnace? And the answer is certainly no. That is really, really hot. I've never had my draw skimmer light up like that. Woo. I also learned that steel floats in copper, which makes sense. And hot. Man, I can feel that radiation. Okay. That's pretty hot. 
That's still hot. Never seen it that hot this long after the pour. And that is still smoking hot. Alright, let's see how these ingots came out. They're still probably smoking. Pretty cool. My son's not here, but if he was, you'd want to see if we could burn a leaf. Sorry, son. Too cold. Okay, interesting, look here. That one has a really nice sheen to it. The other ones took on a really black color. Copper conducts heat really well, so it cools down really fast, apparently. 